a surviving spouse. The definition should be so simple to define. However, it's not. Hi, I'm Darren Finling of The Probate Pro, and we're going to cover this topic of what constitutes a surviving spouse in Michigan. When a person dies, the person that they're married to, you would think, is automatically determined to be the surviving spouse. There are certain rights afforded to a surviving spouse. The right to inherit the intestate estate under the laws of intestacy. These are the laws that give a spouse a particular percentage of the estate following the death of their spouse. And elections and allowances. These are benefits that the individual can claim simply by being deemed the surviving spouse. In addition, there are opportunities to elect against a will or if the will had been signed, uh, whether it was before marriage or after marriage, there are certain rights that are afforded to a surviving spouse simply by that designation. And of course, with funeral and burial, surviving spouse status gives that person particular rights as it relates to addressing funeral and burial arrangements. So why would somebody not be a surviving spouse? Well, there are a variety of reasons. And under MCL 700.2801, the statute defines how somebody is considered a surviving spouse. Now, the easy one is that if you're divorced, if there is a divorce or an annulment, the, the severance occurs of the marriage and that individual is no longer a surviving spouse. That seems pretty easy. In the event that somebody believes that they're uh, divorced and they then partake in a new marriage ceremony that also addresses or affects their status as surviving spouse. And of course, the another easy one is simply living in a bigamous relationship. So if you're living in a big, bigamous relationship with another individual, you are severed as a surviving spouse, even though the marital relationship has not been adjudicated by a court to have divorced the couple. In addition, the statute provides that an individual who did any of the following for one or more year before the death of the deceased person loses their status as surviving spouse. The first was willfully absent from the deserted, I'm sorry, from the decedent spouse. The second is deserted the decedent spouse. And the third is willfully neglected or refused to provide support for the decedent spouse if required by law to do so. So for example, there may have been a court order to provide, uh, to provide for uh, the care and support. So the court has also addressed what constitutes willfully absent. Does it simply mean that they're separated and not living together? Or are there more emotional uh, aspects of that willfully neglect that could constitute and sever the right of that person to be a surviving spouse. And the court took that case up and indicated that it's not just physical separation. There can be other factors, emotional, for example, that could constitute somebody losing their right as a surviving spouse. So it's not so easy. Just because somebody is married, uh, they could lose their rights. In addition, of course, this seems so clear and obvious, but Michigan has a Slayer statute and often, uh, Unfortunately, we see a spouse murdering another spouse, and that would also sever the rights under particular circumstances in the event of a homicide. So those are the basics as it relates to the surviving spouse statutes here in Michigan. If you've got questions about any probate-related matter, visit us at theprobatepro.com or call us at 833-PROBATE.